The SPM-3 Medved, meaning Bear Armored Police Vehicle, is currently being tested near the city of Nizhny Novgorod. Its developers say it is probably the only Russian-made armored vehicle that meets international mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP vehicle standards. The vehicle can withstand powerful blasts and it is also protected against ambushes. It was developed under an interior troops request for proposal RFP. This is the first prototype version of the vehicle. Its specially designed capsule shields the crew from armored piercing bullets fired from Dragunov and SVD sniper rifles. Most importantly though, the vehicle can withstand blasts of up to 6 kilograms of TNT. The Tiger vehicle by comparison can withstand no more than 1 kilogram. The vehicle features a protective multi-layered bottom, you might call it a sandwich type. It works on the principle of energy absorption. The bear, which is intended primarily for use in local conflicts, can carry nine-person squads and is also able to escort truck convoys. Special mine-resistant seats that were installed inside can protect the crew if the vehicle hits a landmine. The seats hang from the ceiling and the driver does not actually touch the floor of the vehicle directly. Here you can see the mine-resistant floor, which is not connected to the vehicle's main body. The armored vehicle is highly maneuverable despite the fact that it weighs over 10 metric tons. The Interior Troops Command wants to replace BTR-80 armored personnel carriers with the new Medved, which is able to travel on standard roads. The new vehicle is apparently no harder to drive than a minivan. There is no problems with the vehicle's off-road capability. There were cases when we accidentally drove into swamps. Even though more than half the wheels were submerged, over 15 centimeters, I was able to disengage the vehicle simply by downshifting. Tests of the Medved vehicle have entered their final stages. The Medved will soon go to Arctic regions where it will operate in temperatures of minus 45 degrees Celsius. The interior troops are set to begin receiving production vehicles in 2013.